So this is my number one car, Ford's Model T. First built in 1908, it really is the beginning of everything the modern motor car has. <coughs> Unfortunately, there is one thing that you've got on your car that I haven't on this, and that's an electric start. So before I go and drive it, I've got to get it going. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me that swing. It's going to be really uncomfortable, but it isn't. Model T is really a soft riding car. It steers well too. There's not much free play in this system. Ford look after this car well, but this is how they were when they were new. And frankly, once you've learned the pedal layout and the control system, it's a cinch to drive. It's really rather good fun, actually. This car is 120 years old, and the important thing to remember about the Model T is it brought motoring to the masses for the first time. The technology embedded in this car is still represented in the hatchback parked outside your house today. What a legacy that is. For me, there's three bits of genius about the Model T. First is Henry Ford designed a strong, reliable car that just about anyone could learn to drive after a couple of lessons. The other thing is he secured his supplies up and down the supply chain. So he bought forests, for instance, for wood, for the frames, the wheels, the seats, and even the steering wheels. He bought mines to secure his steels for the chassis rails and the engine parts. The other thing is he really understood marketing. He priced this car really cleverly so that not only his workers, but also the general public could afford to buy one. What a clever man he was. 